All right, well, here is our next project all over the dock. <laughs> and three, two, one. Boom! Are you like, excited about this? Yeah. Are you embarrassed about this? No. Or what? Okay, so this is the next tree to go down. And there's the yurt. I'm really interested in what's inside. What if there's a dead body? It's supposed to be brand new. Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's pretty clean. Nice. Yeah, it's great, man. So tell them, what's this going to be? Uh, we're harvesting rainwater. For it. We're going to be using it for the Summertime garden. fruit orchard. Yeah, so the fruit orchard and the garden is going to be there. So like, a, like we don't get rain for like a week, this will be like our backup, which it'll probably rain every day. So. <laughs> But it will have, give us 600 gallons of fruit tree water in case there's a drought. Yeah, backup water. So yeah. Cool, babe.
hurt. I did a purpose, you nigga face. Oh yeah, I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot for a second. Hey, this is our firewood state for the winter. It's uh, end of January and we're getting the coldest snap of weather yet this season. Got the kindling there on the left and the main firewood here on the right. And I think this guy can hold, I would say about three cords, maybe four cords. And we got some under the carport as well. And uh, we've refilled it twice. We had a pile sitting out that uh, was charging in the sun in about August. And then we covered it with the tarp and we replenished our pile once. So I'm talking maybe six cords um, over the course of the winter. And we're short. It's not enough. Like we're having to really uh, ration off the wood. So let me show you a solution we came up with inside the yurt to make our wood last longer. Side note, pizza oven. You can see how we have some overflow wood there on the left. And every time we uh, cook in the oven, it works great, but uses wood. So that's what this is there. So we still have about half the pizza oven wood to use. And that's what um, that is. You can see on the left there is, that's gonna replenish the pizza oven wood when it dries out this summer. So inside the yurt this morning, it's a uh, negative one outside. We got it up to 20 inside the yurt, that's Celsius. We got the uh, container of kindling there on the right. And that starts our fire off quick in the morning. The dehydration rack drying all sorts of things and um the hot water boiling this morning with the eco fans going these eco fans are fantastic don't even need any wires they just operate with heat and look at how they're blowing the steam see how that steam is going left that's all eco fan and to the left of the wood stove we got the rack you guys saw me build a few video blogs back and this is fresh alder we just down that tree and uh turning it into firewood here. We just make sure we clean out our flue once a month or so. And with the eco fans pointing toward that direction, the wood on the middle and upper rack dries out in three days. And then we just uh, move the bottom rack to the top. We just always have this rack full. So I go out there and chop wood at least once a day for a few minutes, keep this rack full. And that is kind of tripling our wood outside because we just used the outside wood in the shed I showed you earlier. We used that to start the fire. That's the dry wood. But then once the fire is going pretty good, we keep it hot and keep it going like it is now with the alder wood on the left on the rack. And that's the way that we're using passive heat to dry our wood out faster, kind of like an indoor yurt kiln, wood kiln. And it's helping us to survive the winter. Hey, what are you searching for? Uh, cool looking rocks to put on the cob oven. This is a cool little like rock core we have on the property here. We should put the earth ship house here. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you smile like that? As if we've already talked about it. Oh, maybe we have. Let's find some rocks that we can plug into the cob oven as a finishing layer.
my gosh. It's a rose hip. It's awesome. There's even some still on here. It's a pretty wild one. This is, this is great. This is so cool. Now I'll know where to find some wild rose too in the spring. I think that they're eating them. Stop eating them. <laughs> no. see here's the ones that we that we throw back so these guys are female I'm no prawn expert but I believe that the males and females can switch sexes or they do as they mature so in the winter time right here we got the female with the eggs you can see the eggs down here so check it out come over this way you can see her swim away and she can be free to birth those eggs there How's it going? Just giving my feet a, uh, a warm up in the sun. Yeah. The dogs sound so funny in the water. They, <laughs> bloop, they bloop, bloop, bloop. They're inspired. They're inspired. <laughs> 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 
You're lying? I think he was crawling in my hands. What do you think, Puma? What do you think? You like my chips? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys gonna help me? Okay, here, help me. Fan it out. Fan it out. <laughs> Wood chip. All right, guys. Off, 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 off. Go, 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 go. <laughs> You're so funny, Puma. Send it to me like okay. you. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited. Why? Because I want a calendar. Because <laughs> you're on a calendar. Yeah. I don't know if I can. Uh, I don't know if I can open it. Are you like, excited about this? Yes. Are you embarrassed about this no. or what? <laughs> what? You... I've never seen you act before. I've never been on a calendar before. I'm just like this is a big, it's a big thing. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I got okay, two. Take one. <gasps> oh my god. Everybody else that went to um, Kamarebi.ca, they got these first. Yeah, it like took, this is our first time getting these. <laughs> it took two weeks longer for us to get it because we're so remote. Oh. The image is pretty high resolution, pretty oh nice. My... <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what she's looking at here. She's looking at January. That is so cool. It's just Nicole and I chose our favorite thumbnails from the channel here and we put it into a calendar. So if you guys want to support us, see our property, see mostly Nicole. You can uh, grab a 2021 <laughs> calendar. I don't want to give it away. They have to get their own calendar to oh, see it. Oh, I see. Well, anyways, is that oh. pretty neat? And they're 100% recycled paper, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. How freaking cool. Baboom. Ooh, this is, this is cool. Whoa. But also, uh, in addition, Komorebi.ca sent us this. Which I was not expecting to come today at all. So I'm really excited. And so what is it? Plastic that it comes with is 100% recycled plastic? Yeah, it's compostable. The plastic's compostable? Yeah. Wow. This. Yeah, so you can put this in your, we can put this in our compost. That'd be a good experiment. We should do that and see if it yeah. breaks down. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is only, we only have two items. Uh, or three items, a female shirt, yeah. a unisex t-shirt, and a, a hoodie. Okay, so here is our hoodies. What size is that one? This is small, this one's mine. Nice. 
I'm so excited. I was not expecting to get these today at we'll all. Well, tell them what's on it. So we have the Como Rebi logo that you guys see at the beginning of our videos, but we kind of changed it a little bit to have Como Rebi the name of our property. Um, it has some mountains, the sun, the trees to kind of represent what Como Rebi means. And then also has the description of what Como Rebi means. So, which is? Which is sunlight pouring through the leaves of the trees. And then also has a really cool um, tree on the back of the neck of where the, the back of the hoodie and the shirt. So. Nice. The packaging is compostable, eco-friendly. The clothing is all natural and the hoodies are 100% organic. And we should put them on in three, two, one. Boom! I like it a lot. It feels really like light, but soft. And then look at the, what's on the back? Tree. Conifer tree on her property. Yeah. These are nice. That's cool. <laughs> you like it? I dig it. Yeah, I like it a lot. I just like it. Hey. Capris. Hey. So, who's going to freeze their feet off and make this cup? Both Not of us. Not I. <laughs> All right. It's like negative one today, even though it's sunny, it's cold. How about you guys do it? All right, so I gotta get all this going together. <sighs> okay. I don't think we need any water because the clay's already kind of. Oh. <laughs> My past life. Spinning hook kick. What if I gave you a spinning hook kick right across the face right now? Like clay foot. That was slippery. <laughs> I almost slipped off my feet. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> so gross, bro. I need some sand. There. Ah, I know, but it's freezing. It's like ice. It's so cold. Oh my gosh. Why are it's like we... worse than the ice bath from last week. Why are we doing this? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you just sitting there laughing at me? Oh, sorry. I'll make some tea. For my feet? <laughs> I think I just cut my foot, but I can't even tell because it's so frozen. I could be bleeding out right now and I wouldn't even know. Not like Tom Brady. Hey, you want in on this? No. You want it? Need lots more clay, but my feet are ice. I mean, I'm gonna get frostbite and lose a toe in this cob, all for the sake of the Novotero pizza oven. On the cob oven, we can say, in loving memory of Jake's toe. <laughs> <laughs> we can take my toe and implant it, embed it into the cob on the outer layer. I <laughs> know, that is so gross. We make food in that. <laughs> It's like stuck to my toes and it's like having ice stuck to your freaking skin. Ah. Well, here, 
Thank you. For people wanting to do cob, I highly recommend doing it during the summer. <laughs> Not during the Canadian winter. <laughs> I feel like Greece. You're the one that I love. You're the one I love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got chills. They're multiplying. And I'm losing control. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost eight toed Jake. Can you see the steam on camera? This is yeah. Like saving my life right now. What do you think about that? It feels good. It feels a little bit like wetter than the cob that we've worked with, but it's not like, it's not dramatic. I mean, it still looks really good. Let's try the test. It's holding pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to stay in a ball. So we can add some more dry clay and some more sand if it's not dry enough. I mean, it looks good. Okay. It's about what it needs to be. All right, let's try it. I mean, it's not like sticking and coating my hand. Okay. And honestly, when the oven is on and it's a thousand degrees, even when it's on for three hours, you still can't feel the heat on the outer part of the oven. It's only after about six hours you can feel it. So this is like a bonus layer, more of just a dec decorative layer, you know? Yeah. Why so sad, bro? Would you like feed me, sir? Looks good. Day two of chinking the shower. So you guys saw me yesterday or previously in the video. <laughs> um, I was gathering up moss and I hammered in some nails in here um, and then I stuffed the moss in here. The reason why I'm doing that is because Jake and I want to seal off the shower so it's warmer 
for us in there and then also we want to eventually turn this into a sauna um, if you guys watched the shower video we talked more about that with the wood stove and stuff so if you want to know more in detail about how we're going to do that definitely go check out two videos ago. So what I'm doing is I'm stuffing in moss in between the logs that have more of a gap. Some logs are touching perfectly and I don't have to do those. So I'm stuffing in moss which helps insulate it. So this is going to be like your your insulation and then I'm going to cob over this. So you're not going to see this moss. Um, I'm going to cob over it, have like a nice finish and then that will the cob will dry and act as like a cement drywall kind of thing. The reason why there's nails that I strategically put nails on the outside and in the inside is to help the cob grab onto it. Um, so instead of just doing cob and if it cracks it would flake away. Um, so this kind of helps brace the cob to it which has less cracking and stuff like that so it's like a long-term effect. And it's freezing out right now. I think it's zero or negative one celsius. And the moss is really cold, so the more you touch the moss and put it in here, your hands just like, especially mine, are just like, oh, it's so cold. So I have to like go inside, warm up by the wood stove, come out here and finish. Um, but I did quite a bit on this side here. As you can see, I still have to fill in here. Um, I think there's, yeah, you can see there's still some that I have to do. And also from the inside as well, I have to go and collect some more moss and then Hopefully start cobbing soon. You wanna sprinkle, sprinkle? Thanks, babe. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> I think we have successfully rehydrated it. Yeah. Ready to go? It is officially an X Files Cobb monster. <laughs> I'm going to pass this off to you now. <sighs> Peanut butter. <laughs> Maybe that would be a prank channel. I could put Cobb in a sandwich and... Ew! So can I go in our shower to wash my feet off? For sure. Does it feel warmer in there? So warm. <laughs> <laughs> my feet have never looked so clean.
Come on, Puma. Load up. Come on, Kai. Load up. Come on, load up. Load up. <laughs> One, two, three, fight! Shake. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Okay, be careful. Don't slip. Okay, go. Go. I think this is the right size. Do a little dance. Mm, 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 mm. How are the hands? Cold. <laughs> it looks great though. What are you doing? Yeah, it's carbon. So um, I think I found a really good technique of placing it in there pretty quickly and then smoothing it. And it is really hard because it is so freaking cold and my hands are baby hands. <laughs> but I have figured out to fill this up with hot water and then I just dip my hands in it and then smooth it out, which is nice. Kind of gives my hands a break, but, um, but no, what do you think so far? It's looking insulated, solid. Yeah. And I'm not going to do every single one because these boards are completely touching. I mean, and it kind of looks cool how it's like cob and then just wood and then cob. I don't think we need to cob the whole thing. Um, so I'm just doing the gaps. I dig it. So yeah, getting closer. If you have a hammer. Woohoo! High five. High finger. My hands are <laughs> frozen. We are getting the most beautiful Como Rebi coming through the trees right now onto the property. So for those of you who are wondering what Como Rebi means, which is what we named our property, it's the filtered sunlight through the leaves of the trees. So it's happening right now. The sun is right there and it's shining its light through the leaves of these trees and it's like creating this like glowing effect. So beautiful. This video doesn't even do it justice. <laughs> well, that was loud. 
Okay, so this is the next tree to go down. And there's the yurt. So we have to be extra, 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 extra safe with this one. Hapuma. It's like connected to our deck. Thanks, honey bunches of oats. <laughs> Welcome. Slip on the deck. Whoa. <gasps> Ooh. Wow, that really opens it up. <laughs> really? They're pretty good looking. Well, here is our next project all over the dock. <laughs> it's tough, that off-grid life, because uh, it's just a tough location, our home, to deliver stuff to if anything comes in. So we had to hand bomb it off, and then we have to puff all this up to come already. Yep. So all the pieces. Stay tuned to see what the heck this is. <laughs> Snap is stupid. Let's try it again. 